There are a number of ways you can communicate with family and friends through your Echo speaker or display. The pulsing green light shows when you are receiving an inbound call. If the green light is spinning clockwise, it means you are on an active call or a drop-in. Keep watching to find out how to answer, dismiss, disable, or troubleshoot the flashing green light ring. Daniel here from Smart Dome Perfected. Before we get started, I want to mention that in certain lighting, the green ring can be mistaken for a yellow light ring, which signifies that you have a new notification or a message. Check out our yellow light ring video here for how to manage these notifications and dismiss the yellow light. If you find this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up below and subscribing to our channel for more smart home content. This helps us grow our channel and reach more viewers. Also, please leave a comment below, share your experience to tell us what worked for you and what didn't. So to kick things off, let's discuss the types of green lights you can receive and how to deal with them. Then I'll work through the two features that can trigger the green light, namely calls and drop-ins. So, if you see a pulsing green light on your Echo speaker, it means you are receiving a call. Alexa usually informs you about who was calling. You can then say, answer or ignore. By saying answer, you will be connected with the caller. Echo devices with a screen, like the Echo Show, will also display the name of the caller, and by answering, it results in a video call. You can also ignore the call by not saying anything. Your Echo will stop pulsing right after the person stops calling. Both ways work fine and will turn off the pulsing green light on your Echo. The other variation is the spinning green ring, which shows when you're on an active call or someone has dropped in on your device. You will see the spinning green light for as long as you are on that call. As soon as you or the other person hangs up, the green light will disappear. To end the call or drop in, simply say, hang up. If you don't want your Echo speaker to display the green light at all and would rather disconnect Alexa from calls and drop-ins, follow these steps. So you launch the Alexa app on your smartphone, go to devices at the bottom, so you want to go into this speaker, and then you click the cog on the top right to get into settings, and then you want to go to communications. And from here you can disable individual features, like you can disable drop-in on this device. Um, or announcements, or you can just turn off communications completely, um, and then the green ring will no longer show on this device. And then sync those changes across all of your Echo devices as well. Next up, let's discuss the two features that can trigger the flashing green light, namely calls and drop-ins. First up, calls. There are a few ways your Echo speaker or display can receive calls. The first is Alexa to Alexa contact, which allows people with Echo devices to call other people with other Echo devices. The second is if you've hooked up your mobile phone account to your Alexa profile, you can then receive mobile phone calls to your Echo speaker. Only a certain number of carriers are supported at present. That includes AT&T and Verizon in the US, along with Vodafone and EE in the UK. Third is if Skype is configured in your app, you can then receive Skype calls on your Echo speaker as well. So they are the three types of calls you can get to your Echo speaker. Outside of calls, you can also receive drop-ins. The drop-in feature acts like a digital intercom and allows you to speak with other Echo devices in your home, or you can drop in on family or friends. This essentially acts like an automatically answered phone call for Echo speakers or an instant video call for Echo Show devices. You don't have the luxury of rejecting a drop-in, so it's not something you want to share with everyone. To start a drop-in, you simply say, drop in on, and then you give the device's name. Or you can drop in from your Alexa app to your Echo speakers or displays if you are away from home. So to drop in on your Echo speaker from your Alexa app, you go into the app and click devices. Go to Echo and Alexa, so you want to get into this speaker, click the Echo dot. And then from here, you can see the drop-in feature. As you can see, it says to enable drop-in, you need to activate it in the communication settings. So you only need to do this once off. So Daniel Walsh, allow drop-in. And then there's a, a warning message describing what's actually happening, just to make sure you're happy to sign up to this. Perfect. And then you can go back. And then from here, then we can drop into this device. Provide permissions. <laughs> Because these two devices are right beside each other, I've just muted it and, and turned down the volume. But as you can see, my phone is now connected by drop-in to this Echo speaker. And you can see the pulsing green ring. And then by one person hanging up the drop-in, the green ring disappears. As I mentioned, you can drop in on family or friends in other homes if they provided you with the drop-in permission. This is great if you are caring for an elderly relative and need to check in on them regularly. So to do that, you say to your Echo device, drop in on and then say your friend's name as it's set up in the contacts list. So as I mentioned, the main difference between an Alexa call and a drop-in is that you can reject an incoming call if it doesn't suit, whereas you can't reject a drop-in. A drop-in opens an instant conversation between the two Echo devices like an intercom. Drop-in is highly controlled and permissions must be granted on a contact by contact basis as I went through. This makes sense as that has the potential to be very intrusive. For that reason, it probably makes the most sense to only allow a drop-in for close family or friends. So that's it. To get rid of the Alexa green light, you simply say ignore call or 
hang up. If the light is still spinning at that point, then it's possible you have a yellow ring as opposed to a green one. In the case of a yellow ring, you want to say, what are my notifications? And as I mentioned, check out our yellow light ring video in the description below. Also, it may be possible that Alexa misheard something you said and accidentally started a call or a drop in on someone else. While hang up should solve this, you can review your voice history on the Alexa app to see if this is actually what happened. Let us know what worked for you in the comments below and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if this video helped. Thanks for watching.